Hi, I have a question for you. What do you think is healthier, an apple or apple pie? How about an orange or orange juice? See, the trick with both of these um, objects is that both of these foods are whole foods, unprocessed foods. We haven't done anything to them, right? Some foods, you do have to do a little bit of minimal processing too. So maybe like with the orange, maybe we have to peel the orange. But once we get it peeled, we have such a delicious snack, right? Then there's something called highly processed foods, and that's when you do a whole lot to it. So if we're going to make orange juice, we're gonna actually have to take our orange, we're gonna to have to peel it, we'll blend it up, we'll take the pulp out, we'll add some more stuff to it, and then that's how you make juice. That turns it into being a highly processed food. Let's see how this works. The next step in making your orange juice is getting the juice out of here, right? So anytime that you're using a blender, whether you're using a Ninja or any kind of blender, you need to be sure that you get the blade out of the way because sometimes those blades are pretty sharp, especially if your children are involved. You don't, absolutely don't want them to get hurt. I have cut my finger on this thing before and it's not fun. So we're going to take it out, but for orange juice, we're actually going to take what we've now blended up and we're going to strain it through here. So we're relieving the majority of that pulp in there because a lot of people just don't like all that thick stuff in their drink. You can actually take a spoon if you'd like and help push, push it over to where you're getting as much of that juice out of it as you possibly can. Now the thing is, is that this, this um, pulp that's in here is really, really good for us. It's got a lot of fiber in it. And of course, we all know that fiber really helps in our digestion. Fiber helps us feel full faster, which helps us to eat less and maintain that good, healthy body weight. Okay, so now that we've finished that, I'm gonna set it right here. And we're gonna pour this delicious juice right into our cup. I'm gonna make a mess with it, of course, but you know, it's my house, I can clean it up in a minute, right? Okay, so let's see how this tastes. It's missing a little something. What do you think we should add to it to make it taste better? I bet it's gonna be sugar, right? So let's add just a little sugar, and we'll give that a good stir. Let's give it a good stir. Let's try that again. Oh, much better. That tastes more like the orange juice we're used to. But do you see the problem? What we've actually done by making juice is we've taken this whole food that is delicious, that is great for us, that is nutritious. We've taken the good stuff out of it and then we've added the stuff that's not so good. So any time that you have the opportunity to choose a whole food or prepare it yourself at home when you can control what goes into it, that's going to be the best choice for you. Remember, we have tons of cooking classes available and I'm always more than willing to help.